humans or the human form or what we perceive to be are only appearing here for one true quality. We're only here really to experience one true quality. And that is the experience of being, being. Being, being. Which means this being is not a permanent one snap. There you go. Being, being means to experience the life, the movement, being a being. That's all. And when you're, when this is actually taking place, we call this meditation. That there's the human that sits and meditates is experiencing with no understanding or logic or communication or conditioned mind, past and future, learned stuff, is experience it itself being a being. There are no fluctuations off of the path of being. This is a real wake-up call to even understand this. That the only true quality purpose of being here is to being a being. Experience being a being. This we call awakening. Chapter one, you see? Chapter two is, why do we meditate? Okay? We can surely experience that without meditation. But we can't, you see, because we've invented or created this mind that keeps us focused, attention on things that are not associated with a meditative state. We're always meditating behind the scenes of what is taking place. So why do we meditate? Why do we have to experience being a being when really we all know this inside? Meditation really is not total, it's not to experience being a being because it's taking place on its own. It's to realize because we've forgotten and understand. Wow, really life is quite simple. Really life is happening without me doing anything, me doing anything. I seem to wake up when I wake up, I seem to pee when I pee, I seem to eat when I eat. There are controlling environments in my life where I have to obey employers and obey forces, obey politicians and rules and regulations. But we invented that, you see. What we invent we have to keep, unless we don't want to keep it, we have to destroy it, you see. destroy. All the things that humans have created through how to be a human. Destroy the rule book of being a human. It's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. So, not many human forms are experiencing being a being. Because it's so fast and the attention is always moving. The mind is always taking you everywhere. And it's important. It is the only true quality. It is important to experience a quality of your life. Why would you be here without not that quality? So we meditate through consciousness saying, stop. I want to experience a quality as you do, 
consciousness is enshrouding saying, God, stop, please, please stop. Meditate for one moment, please. Be at peace for one moment. And the meditation takes place. What am I doing here? I'm not trying to experience waterfalls. I'm not trying to experience being in heaven or paradise or birds whistling in the background. I want to experience being, being, a being. Movement. Being, a being. This experience begins within and then moves out. I'm being a being, full circle. Full circle, you're on full drive, both hands, being a being, being a being. So what has, which parties have got together to stop? The being and consciousness have had an interview, an appointment. Consciousness is saying, what are you doing? You're not experiencing the true quality that you are. Put into act some meditation. So the being has taken the opportunity, has realized through an awakening call from consciousness. The being has the opportunity to realize that in a human state is the only state that it, it can experience being the true quality whilst in a body. The being soon realizes, I will not experience God, if that's what you want to call it, or self, or emptiness, enlightenment, outside of a human body. So now the being has taken the opportunity and realizes, this is realization, this is self-inquiry beginning. I won't experience anything when this body goes. I will experience something, but not what is possible. This is the awakening call. You have been given a human body to realize that this true quality of being a being or being being and the being recognizes the true quality of the human body that it is a perfect vessel the perfect vehicle the perfect way very controlled thing with a mind to focus itself on mind is moving you towards a realization it's awakening you up the human state is waking itself up because of mind the mind is putting you in the corner intentionally putting you in the corner, creating depression, stress, anxiety, so that consciousness and being can get together and say, stop, enough. I want to find a purpose. That's your purpose, you see. The human wants to be a being. It wants to experience the true quality of total God life. The being wants to use the human now, form, to understand itself and realize where truth lies. Consciousness and being when they meet know that there is something that created this meeting. Something else forced these two together, being and consciousness. What is the force, you see? That's not your problem. Take the opportunity of the human body. Allow yourself to disappear and become your true quality state of simply being. And what is really revealed is truth. No one can tell you what truth is. 
This is the purpose of being a human. The only purpose. When you deny your true quality, you're going to have to go around a big circle and all these minds and things are pointing you towards the same path on the circle until the circle is complete and human falls in love with being and being falls in love with human and truth is revealed. Very simple. Whether you take the opportunity or not, it matters not. Because the one that created the meeting is yourself. Yourself is not associated with being. Yourself is not associated with anything visual, phenomenal, form, formlessness. Yourself is not associated with consciousness. Yourself is using being and consciousness and a meeting of both to take place so that you can experience yourself as a being, as consciousness, as a human, as a mind. And to realize that not one is more important than the other, but all important as one. Namaste.